What's up guys? Are you wondering how you can scare your trick-or-treaters this Halloween? I got something for you. I'm gonna show you how to make this bloody hand prop using our AlgaSafe Alginate Life Casting Powder, our Dragon Skin 10 NV Platinum Cure Silicone Rubber, and once you make this thing, you put it in your candy bowl and watch them scream. <laughs> Here's a list of all the materials and tools we will need for today's project. Okay, so what we need to do first is make a mold of my hand. So before we even get started on that, we want to think about what hand positioning or pose uh, that I want to use for my project. Once I've figured out the pose that I like, then we're ready to make the mold. To make the mold of my hand, we're going to use AlgaSafe Alginate Crystalline Silica Free Powder. It's good for making a one-time use mold, and depending on your project, it can be more cost-effective than a silicone mold. The mix ratio of AlgaSafe is one part of powder to one part of water, so I'm first going to dispense out my powder. I'm checking the temperature of the water that I'm going to use because I want to make sure that it's 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 27 degrees Celsius. This is what's recommended in order to get a 5-minute pot life and an 8-minute cure time. Now I'm going to go ahead and dispense my water. The mix ratio of the AlgaSafe is one part AlgaSafe powder to one part water by volume. So for this project, I needed two cups of powder and two cups of water for my hand. You might need a little bit more or a little bit less depending on the size of your hand or the container size that you use. You can refer to the product technical bulletin to find out how much powder is recommended to use for each body part. I'm going to sift the AlgaSafe powder into the water and mix it using my variable speed drill and turbine mixer. Using a water temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 27 degrees Celsius, AlgaSafe is going to have a five minute pot life and eight minute cure time. I could mix this by hand, however, using a variable speed drill and turbine mixer will allow me to mix this faster, easier, and more uniformly rather than just doing it by hand. Tipping the container at an angle really helps concentrate the mass of the alginate. That way I can get the variable speed drill and turbine mixer deep in there so I can get a thorough mix. Once I've mixed everything thoroughly, I will come back with a flat edge stick and scrape the sides and the bottom just so that I have a homogeneous mix where everything is even and uniform. The alginate has now been mixed thoroughly and I am ready to put my hand inside of it to make this mold. So what I'll do is I'll slowly put my hand in and I'm gonna pull it back up and again, slowly put it back in, leaving about a half inch of space between my hand and the bottom and side walls of the container. What this is doing is trying to remove any bubbles that might be on the surface of my skin as a result of surface tension. And now I'll just leave my hand in the container in that same position, not moving for eight minutes until the alginate has cured. Okay, after eight minutes, this is cured and I'm going to demold my hand from the AlgaSafe. I will slowly rock my hand and wrist gently in the mold to loosen it from the AlgaSafe and then slowly withdraw it. Now that my hand is removed, the mold is ready to be cast into. So we decided to use Dragon Skin 10 NV. This is a platinum cure silicone rubber with a one to one mix ratio by volume and a relatively low mix viscosity, I don't need any specialized equipment in order to work with this material. Plus, it's also compatible with our AlgaSafe alginate. So what I need to do first is premix my material separately before dispensing. I can then dispense my part A and part B. This material has a mix ratio of one part A to one part B by volume. As you can see, this material is a translucent white. This makes it ideal for adding pigments and achieving color effects. I'm going to start by using a Silk Pig Light Flesh Tone and mix it into the part B first. Silk Pig pigments are designed specifically for use with our silicone products. Then I'm going to use the Silk Pig Blue, just a tiny amount because these are concentrated and I'll continue to mix that in in order to achieve kind of a creepy undead skin tone. Once I get a color that looks pretty close to what I want, I'm going to combine it with the part A. 
My pot life is 15 minutes, as long as I stay at 73 Fahrenheit or 23 Celsius room temperature. Once I mix them together, the color will lighten a little bit because obviously I'm adding a little bit more material. So you will wanna plan for that. And here I'm going to thoroughly mix the material, making sure to scrape the sides and the bottoms until I get a uniform mix. Once my rubber is thoroughly mixed, I'm ready to pour. So what I'm gonna do is pour slowly in a long thin stream and I'm gonna pour into the lowest point of this mold. I'm going to let the material rise and seek its own level. The material is allowed to cure for 75 minutes at room temperature. Okay, so time's up and we're now ready to demold my hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip over this container so I can easily just remove the alginate mold, falls right out. I'm going to score the outside and the top of the mold using my plastic knife. I'm not gonna cut too deeply because I don't wanna cut into uh, my casting. And then when I'm ready, I'll start to slowly stick my hand in there, start ripping off and removing parts of the alginate mold until I expose the fingers and the rest of the hand. As I start to remove pieces of alginate, I start to reveal my little fingers. And if you need to make a few extra little cuts, go for it until you remove as much alginate as needed in order to get the hand out. As you can see, it's a perfect replica of my hand. Back, front, all the lines, fingernails, if there was a scar, anything. This AlgaSafe is really great for picking up all of the detail of my hand. Now you can see it's also soft and stretchy. You can bend it, pull it, stretch it, twist it, and it bounces right back to the original shape. Okay, now we're ready to add some blood effects by painting the dragon skin with additional silicone. I'm gonna use more of the same Dragon Skin 10 NV, which I'll dispense just a smaller amount of. The mix ratio is still one part A to one part B by volume. Now I'll add a small amount of the Silk Pig blood to the part B and pre-mix that in before I add the part A. I can now combine my parts A and B and thoroughly mix those together. I'm going to thoroughly mix this material, making sure that I scrape the sides, that I scrape the bottoms until I get a uniform mix. Dragon Skin 10 NV has a low mixed viscosity, so you can kind of see that although, yes, it's a little bit thick, it still will drip and flow. I'm gonna take that bloody mixture and start applying it to the fingertips because I want it to look like dripping blood. So I have 15 minutes to work with this, that's my pot life. And once I apply it to the fingers and get the look that I want, I still have enough time to work with it and I'll stipple it using a disposable chip brush so that I can bring out the detail in the hand and the palm. You'll see the lines of the hand start to show up and I just want in general for it to look kind of gross and bloody. I'm going to let this fully cure for 75 minutes at room temperature. Then I'll come back and apply a final layer. As long as I stay within 24 to 48 hours, my layer should still bond to itself. Additional Dragon Skin 10 NV is dispensed, pigmented, and mixed. We are then going to use some Thyvex, which is a silicone thickening agent, to thicken our Dragon Skin 10 NV. I'm only gonna add a few drops. You can add more or less, depending on how thick you want the material. Then I'm gonna mix it all together. As I start to mix it in, you start to see that the consistency starts to get thicker. The mixed viscosity increases. I like how this consistency is. You can definitely tell it's thicker. The material is not as runny, so it'll hold a vertical surface better. My plan is to use this thickened material on the back of the wrist to make it look like a severed hand. You can get creative and do whatever that you wanna do for your project, but I think this will look really cool. I have a 15 minute pot life and as it gets closer to the end of that, the material will start to thicken up and I can use the back of my stick to kind of pull away from it and give it a little bit more texture. Now I'm gonna wait 75 minutes and let it cure. This hand casting is actually really lifelike and feels kind of like real skin. It's totally up to you to be creative and get the look that you want, but this is kind of what I was going for. You can see I can bend it, twist it, fold it, and it's still one uniform piece of silicone. Now comes the really fun part. So I got a candy dish, 
bought some candy, laid out all the pieces of candy on there. Here it is set up on my friend's porch and you can see how creepy and realistic it looks. Hopefully when the kids grab it, it's gonna freak them out. Come and get it if you dare. Ooh, 